hello and welcome to yet another vlog y'all thought i couldn't do it but i'm doing it you could tell from my background it is once again moving day it's giving deja vu if you watched my like second vlog back i moved into this apartment knowing that i was moving into another apartment i was waiting for the construction to get done so pretty much this has been like an airbnb it's been awful it, I've, i'm having a terrible time here so i had to show you the, the new place it's like light years better than this one okay this is the new place and this is the living room area. There's Cena trying to figure out the internet. The windows are so pretty. This is the other way. The kitchen, not a fan of the backsplash, but I feel like I can like DIY this. Dining room, lots of pretty light. And you walk back here, bedroom, nothing crazy. Washer dryer, bathroom was about the same as the last one. Walking down, here is our bedroom. And then out here we have a little patio facing the courtyard, two closets, and a little tiny mini bathroom. This will be seen as. I'm so out of breath. This is where we're at right now. There's so much stuff. So many boxes. Done. We're taking a break. We're walking to a cafe to grab some food and some coffee. We have some movers coming in a few hours to move the big stuff because we're just two small girls. Yeah, two small <laughs> girls. We are like three fourths of the way done. We just have like little, I'm like gonna move all my plants and stuff and all my clothes, which is kind of a task. I actually use this service called Lug, and it's this is not an ad. I wish it was because that was a 10 out of 10 experience. I had them here for like an hour and a half. They knocked out so much and it was so inexpensive. I had the cats locked up in the bathroom and guess what? They learned how to open the door. <laughs> Didn't know cats can open doors. We left again to go eat because we're exhausted and we're trying to get some energy and also we don't have anywhere to sit. <laughs> we came for the chair. <laughs> we came to sit down. <laughs> but we're getting sushi and we're getting a drink because we deserve it. It's only 3.30, I can't even believe we did all that today. Cheers. <laughs> Just sitting down. I literally totally forgot about you guys because we inhale our food so hard. <laughs> the plates are clean. I don't even remember what I got. I need a nap or I'm gonna kill someone. Why are you looking <laughs> at me? Okay, sorry for the piss poor lighting. Like, it really is so bad. Okay, so I showered and we have been laying down on a bed pad in the dining room area. That's where we're at right now. I want to show y'all some of these glasses that I have been saving. I love like funky little glasses. My friend Paige and Merlin for my birthday got me these, these vintage looking glasses. They're so cute, like perfect for like a little espresso martini like very Nick and Nora glass-esque or even ice cream. Like it's such a perfect glass. My dream is like over the bar car or like the bar cabinet to have like a bunch of like XO shelving just like with all them like mismatched glasses on there. And Allison for my birthday, see people know this about me, got me the coolest Amaro glasses. Look at these. Cena got me the Our Place ones. So we have these like fun green short ones and we also have the tall ones if I'm not mistaken as well. So I love these like just for like a little Coke Zero moment, you know? <laughs> for cocktails, I would prefer them to be a little shorter but with like a huge rock in there, like you can make a nice Negroni. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck I think I am talking like that. These are the tall, the tall version. These are the glasses I was looking for. Remember these? We were thinking like a gin and tonic situation. But it's actually a champagne flute. But it doesn't, it's like not that vibe at all. Like they're way bigger than a champagne flute, but aren't they so cute? Just like we did when we moved into the last apartment that we hated, by the way. <laughs> got some wine and some night market which is our favorite Thai spot so we're going to open up this new chapter with the same thing cheers cheers darling so i'm never moving again we probably will i will die here in like four years such a good wine great wine Ooh, let me show them the wine deck. this is the wine that we got for tonight it's a monte pustiano just like we had last time yeah. but this is one of our favorite brands what is the brand a 
abundant. I just go off the label. The, I know what the label looks like. I want them. This one's so good. We got this from Air One. And then the guy, the guy who delivered it, he was like, oh, like, like, like my, like my delivery, like my delivery. And then he got us a brownie. He stole us a brownie. <laughs> For from shame. Air One. You got brownies like 10 bucks. Yeah, that brownie's like, is like 10 bucks. <laughs> Here is the spread, almost the same as last time, but we got one of my favorite dishes, the Masaman curry, which you don't care for as much. I like it, it's okay, good. Okay, that's a lie. As you can see, we're literally sitting on the floor on a bed pad. It's a mattress topper. <laughs> Why, why are we sitting on the floor, Haley? Because <laughs> 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 I threw out my couch <laughs> It was, it had to go. <laughs> our new couch doesn't come for like another week. So this is our so life. So a week of this. <laughs> it is a few days later. I am currently headed to Studio City to shoot with my, one of my very, very good friends, Dylan, who is the, I would say a content creator for Meter Maid. I'm fucking going, fuck this yellow light. We're literally making an elk Wellington. So it should be a lot of fun today. Oh my God, this angle is not fucking it. I'm driving clearly. I'm at Meter Maid with Dylan. Yo! I'm glad we finally got you here. I know, I'm so excited. Yeah. It, like it just felt like it was never gonna happen. Right. And then the right, the right moment. Been trying to get here ever since he started. Too. Oh, yeah. I was like, when are we going to meet Jordan? I think it was probably. <laughs> I love it. Like my, the sixth <laughs> sentence I've said to him. <laughs> yeah, I was like. Yeah. 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 There we go. That's all you want on there. Oh, oh my god. Okay, bear. Now, fuck this up. No, are you going to do great? Are you kidding me? Watch this. Like an absolute pro. Oh. Do you think I should add a little layer? Yeah. For Justin. For Justin. We're doing this for you, Justin. Who's Justin? Justin Case. Oh. <laughs> so happy you asked. <laughs> oh. I just like to let. What if I just let that go? Uh -huh. like, no one, no one would know. It's like Kendall Jenner put in the cucumber. It looks like it helps. <laughs> so. I, I don't think I've seen that clip, but like I do believe. But you, oh, she literally <laughs> yeah. goes like she's like. Hold on, I have to pause. Sure. She's holding the cucumber, right? Yeah. She has a knife right here. She's cutting it like this. It's crazy. Does she address it or does she just- Everyone like... addressed it for her. So that's, so this bullying works. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I forgot to film the actual portion of me rolling it, but you'll have to check out. Yeah, we're gonna take stock footage from Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> if you wanna see the real thing, you're gonna have to check out Meter Maid's Instagram. Good morning, it is the next day, and today is a very exciting day because we're going to Chain Fest. I think I mentioned in one of my other vlogs that it's a chain restaurant concept that's a little more like gourmet. There's like 13 or 14 different like chain restaurant partners that partner with the event and they create like some kind of gourmet bite. So I'm very excited, but like, my body doesn't feel ready for what is about to happen. We got a panda. Mmm, crunchy, salty. The gravy is good. The biscuits so good. On this side is the oyster mushroom, and then here is the chicken. Ooh. I don't like mushrooms that much, but this is good. I like it. Let's see the spicy one. Mm, still not that spicy. So earlier I stopped vlogging when we were at Chain Fest because I was so hot and overwhelmed. We were just like in the middle of this, all this asphalt and the in the sun. And so we honestly, we just like had a few bites and we left. But we got invited to the after party. So we're back. <laughs> it's less hot. Well, now we're cold. Now we're cold. <laughs> Screaming over Akon right now. <laughs> Cheers. This is cute. I'm not a big corn dog fan, but I like this. The elote part of it's really good. Not me screaming over Akon again. Sure. All right, here's the Cheddar Bay Biscuit. It's a Cheddar Bay Biscuit, like lobster roll from Red, from lobster, Red Lobster. Red Lobster. Do you, is anyone else know what I'm talking about? 
So it's been a few days. I have been just editing this vlog and I realized I left it off like so awkwardly and like left y'all hanging. Just a small little story. I went over to one of my favorite spots to work and they have like pastries or whatever and coffee and I got myself a coffee. I got myself a ham and cheese croissant. I sit down. I'm like so excited. Like gonna enjoy my time. I love a ham and cheese croissant. I take a few bites. I'm editing. I'm drinking my coffee and it's so good. Um, and I looked down at my croissant and when I fucking tell you, there was a fly baked into my croissant. So after holding in my throw up, it was a horrendous sight to see. Threw everything away and ran back home because I like, I couldn't be there anymore. I was so scared. I was just throw up on the street. Like just like the thought, the visual of it was like so intense. Let me give you some apartment updates because we actually have gotten a lot done this week. Everything in the kitchen is pretty much unpacked besides maybe like one box. We got our dining table in. And I like her. She's a, like not as sturdy as I would have hoped. Like if I lean too hard, it does like kind of want to tip. So if you have any suggestions on like how to get it to stick better, I got these chairs that I actually love so much. Um, this is my bookshelf for my last apartment that is not gonna have the books on it. And I'm gonna put like other stuff on it, but for right now it's gonna have the books. I want this to be like more decorative, like dining room vibes, not like bookshelf vibes. We got our bar cabinet in yesterday. One of the heaviest fucking things I've ever lifted in my life, but we had to put it together. So for now we're just using this. This right here is pretty much all we have left to like unpack and figure out like what to do with it. I realized I have four fucking TVs. I don't know why I have four TVs. I'm just one girl. Um, we got half of our couch in, which is actually really exciting. It took way longer for the couch to come in than we expected. Literally up until yesterday, we have been sitting on the floor. Um, but yeah, so we're waiting on like the legs. We're waiting on like the literal other half. This is the office slash guest room that's gonna be holding all my clothes as well. So I need to get like a huge like storage thing here for all like office stuff. Right here in front of the window is where I'm going to put my like standing desk. Here will be like my office, but like shooting area. Back in the bedroom, everything's pretty much the same here. I got two dressers that'll line this wall because we really, really, really need storage, like really bad. And then where this dresser is, that dresser is going the fuck out of here. Me and Sina have argued about this dresser. It's one of our biggest fights is this fucking dresser. I hate this dresser. And he's like, but it's so sturdy. I'm like, what? It's the heavy, we keep we keep bringing it places, but we're not keeping it. So that dress is gonna go away. I'm gonna have like a little vanity here. Outside, all my plans are outside. On this wall, I'm gonna have the cat tree. So that's exciting. And that's like pretty much like the only update so far. I have like some bathroom cabinets coming as well really what this this place lacks is storage so i'm trying to just like buy all this like storage stuff so then i can start like actually putting things away that is that is the updates things are going okay and thank you guys so much for watching this vlog comment down below and let me know what other videos you, you want to see from me. I'm going to like really get on my cooking shit like really soon. Like once I get everything kind of set up here. Yeah, let me know what you want to see and I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.